Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we have a couple of very interesting stories, but we'll start with this one, and it is basically Big Ramy and a physique update of Big Ramy. So Big Ramy is actually pretty quiet, even though he said he was gonna be more active on social media, he kind of failed to fulfill that promise. But we do get to see some clips, some photos here and there, and in this most recent one, he looks freaking massive. He looks really huge right now, and this is very interesting because a lot of people were speculating that he's not even gonna do the Mr. Olympia, that he's downsized right now in the offseason, that he doesn't look good, that he's not gonna win the Mr. Olympia again, but take a look at him here. Take a look at how big he actually is right now. He is still the big Remy that we know, and he might be even looking bigger and better than ever in the offseason. It kind of feels like he wants to prove something to the people. He wants to prove that he is the best that he does deserve to be the Mr. Olympia champion, and he wants that third title, third in a row. And who's gonna take it away from him? Well, there is a lot of guys who want to do that, but is it gonna be easy? Definitely not. Because this guy is a freaking monster, and if he is on, if he brings the conditioning, he's probably gonna win that show. There is also this uh, video of him training, of Big Ramy doing some squats. And as you can see, there is only 5 plates, and that last plate is not even a 45 pound plate. And you're thinking, isn't Big Ramy stronger than that? Why is he only squatting 5 plates? Well, it's because he's not back squatting this, but front squatting. Yeah, that's right. He's front squatting 5 plates. And he's doing that with perfect form, and pretty much with ease. He's doing reps with this. I don't know how many reps in total he did, but he looks like he could do 10 reps with this. But that's only leg training, we all know that he has enormous legs, especially quads, so of course he's front squatting 5 plates, and uh, I don't think anybody on that stage is gonna have bigger legs, bigger quads than him. What we should be more concerned about is the size, the fullness of his upper body, but as you can see in this photo, he is really big and full in the upper body. Now, who is really gonna be a challenge to Big Ramy? I don't think I can imagine Brandon Curry beating Big Ramy. I don't think I can see Hardy doing that or William Bonek. The only guy I can imagine beating Big Ramy this year is Nick Walker. If he actually improved that much and if he peaks perfectly, if he comes peeled, if he comes on. But based on the way he looks right now... And no, this is not a physique update, this is just a screenshot from him just chilling there, standing in the most recent podcast that Fuad Abiyad uploaded. He looks massive, he looks gigantic, he looks like he grew so much, and if everything goes well for Nick, he is going to be a force on that Mr. Olympia stage, and probably the only guy that can actually challenge Big Grammy this year. But then again, if Big Grammy comes conditioned, if he is on... If he shows up with conditioning similar to this, if he is on, if the politics do not affect him, meaning if Jim Mannion is not offended because Big Remy skipped that Pittsburgh Pro guest posing, and also if they still like to have legacies on Mr. Olympia stage, they want to have one bodybuilder win multiple titles, so in order to beat a Mr. Olympia, you need to crush Mr. Olympia, and uh, I don't really see anybody destroying Big Remy unless he is on. If Big Remy is off, and he was off multiple times, and somebody like Nick Walker comes in better than ever, peaks perfectly, then, you know, Big Remy has a chance to lose. But, again, based on the way Big Remy looks right now and his conditioning a couple of months ago, and the fact that he looks like this 20 weeks before the Mr. Olympia, this means that Big Remy is focused, that he wants to improve, and that he will come on, most likely. So, I think we're gonna have a three-time Mr. Olympia champion. But if you guys think otherwise, if you have any opinion whatsoever, tell me in the comment section down below. If you guys want to boost your testosterone levels naturally, here is a great product that I would suggest to you, it's called Vintage Boost. It is basically all the natural ingredients, all the natural supplements as you can think of that help boosting testosterone levels combined in one, in one pill. So guys, definitely suggest this to you. If you want, you can use the code EVAN for a 12% discount and there is a link down below that will get you to the website. You're doing the Tampa Pro. I'm gonna do the Open. Kamal is doing the Open in Tampa, not the 212. All right, now let's talk about this. And you guys probably heard already, Kamal Gargni is doing Tampa and also after Tampa, he's doing Texas and he is switching to the Open. 
he's going to do the Open Division. Is he going to do the Open at the Mr. Olympia? I don't think we know that at this point. We'll see how he will do at Tampa first. If he wins Tampa Open Division, he will be able to do the Mr. Olympia Open Division. But is he going to win the Open Division in Tampa? I don't know about that. I mean, if history taught us something, it is that the top 212 guys actually beat a lot of these pretty good open guys not necessarily the best of the best but like top i don't know maybe like out of top 10 guys as you saw sean clarida beat uh, guys like sergio oliva and regan grimes angel calderon won his open debut and you saw Derek lunsford destroying everybody in that guest posing but kamal gargney i mean yeah he won the mr olympia and he is really good recently uh, his coach chris Cito posted these photos i mentioned this in my video I said that he does look really amazing and that he's gonna give Sean Clarida a run for his money at the Mr. Olympia and that is in case Derek Lansford actually does the Open which I think most likely will be the case and also if Sean Clarida doesn't do the Open only because he is qualified then he has to choose one category so if he chooses the Open he can't do the 2 to 12 and now we don't even know if you're gonna see the top 3 guy Kamal Gargney in that Mr. Olympia 212. So who's gonna win the Mr. Olympia? The guy who was fourth last year, fifth or sixth. So it feels like 212 seems to be disappearing this year. Anyways, Kamal is doing the Open Tampa and Texas, and he's gonna be facing some really tall bodybuilders. Now, if you take a look at this photo here, you can see that he is very complete. Like he has a really good back, he has a really good density and through the chest, shoulders, and arms, he has a really good waist. He's actually 51 years old and for that age he looks he's probably the best looking 51 year old in the world right now as Chris Asito says in his post and he does have that old man maturity so he posted this photo recently in which he is hard as a rock when I saw this I was like what the hell is this this could not be recent why would he be this peeled completely shredded he looks like he's carved out of stone for whatever reason why we didn't know that he was competing at the time now we know so it all makes sense so at, at, i think two weeks before the show he is completely peeled i mean look at this he looks hard like he's carved out of marble it's insane so he's definitely bringing the conditioning, he's most likely going to be the most conditioned, the most defined guy on that stage. So can he actually win? Well, if he wants to win, he needs to beat this. Yes, that's right. The guy that I like to call the future Ronnie Coleman, Quinton area. Now, Quinton may not be as peeled as Kamal right now, but I'm sure he will be conditioned enough. I'm sure he will dial in until Tampa and probably gonna be even better at Texas. Now, I talked about Texas and I announced that show as a tall man show because Quinton and Kuklo are both taller guys. And Quinton, I think, is even taller than Steve Kuklo. So, this guy is really big and if you consider how, how, how thick, how dense he is right now with that height, you can be sure that he's gonna be dwarfing Kamal Gargni. Does that really make a difference if Sean Clarida was able to beat, you know, Regan Grimes and Sergio Oliva, who are also both tall guys, and Sean Clarida is actually much shorter than Kamal, so I don't think that's really a factor. But if both of these guys are on and one of them is taller, bigger, then that's probably gonna be an advantage. Now, forget about Kamal, forget about this rivalry and this show. When I saw these photos of Quinton, I was like, wow! Look at this freaking madness. This is insane. This fullness, this roundness, the shape, the aesthetics. Just amazing. Just, just a crazy looking physique. Insane. Look at the side tricep as well. It looks ridiculous. I mean, this guy has insane, insane genetics. And if he doesn't win these shows this year, it's only a matter of time when he's going to and when he's probably even win the Mr. Olympia if everything goes well for him because... He has so much potential, it's insane. And it feels like this year he is he's fulfilling his potential. Ian Valier said that when he saw him in person a couple of months ago, that he was so, so impressed that Quinton looks really good and really big. He added a lot of tissue, he improved certain body parts, he definitely brought up his upper body to match his legs. I don't know how much he improved his back, but you know, he, he definitely improved it at least a little. Is that gonna be enough to win these shows or at least want to qualify for the Mr. Olympia? You guys tell me whatever you think in the comment section down below. As you can see, Andrew Jacked commented here also. 
he said that he's also ready for Tampa, and I said that Andrew Jack might beat uh, Quinton and win this show, but I don't know anymore, I mean, when I saw these photos of Quinton, he just keeps looking better and better, so there is another guy, another tall guy, Andrew Jack, so there is three really tall guys, they're going to be doing Tampa and Texas, and Kamal wants to be in that mix against these giants. So if he wins these shows, if Kamal beats these guys, he's going to be definitely a giant killer. But uh, I don't know if he's going to do that, because come on, man, come on, look at this. This is insane, this is ridiculous. This is the next Ronnie Coleman, I have to say it again. This is just, wow. But again, I know some guys don't look as good on stage as they do in the gym under perfect lighting. And this lighting here looks really good. It looks really good. So I don't expect him to be this big and this full on stage. And he has a little bit more time to diet down to get more conditioned. But I definitely see this guy winning Tampa. I also know that Kamal is going to be rock hard, that he's going to be peeled, so it's definitely going to be an interesting mashup. We'll see, we'll see what's going to happen. Whatever you guys think will happen, tell me in the comment section down below. Next, we have a physique update of Ramon Dino in his offseason at around 20 21 weeks out of Mr. Olympia. And right now, he is pretty heavy. So, his offseason is going well, he's improving, but he's staying really lean as well. He's right now, he's 115 kilos, which is about 3 kilos less than Chris Bumstead. And Chris Bumstead is 260. So, uh, Ramon is like 255, 250 right now. And I think he's maybe a little bit shorter than Chris. They're about similar height. They're both tall guys. So, they're about same, similar size right now. Now, I'm curious how much improvements will Ramon actually make before he hits that stage again, but I'm a really big fan of his physique, I want to see him play second at the Mr. Olympia, I don't think I can see him beating Chris Bumstead, not yet, but I would like to see him beat Terence Ruffin. So far, Terence was better than Ramon, but I think Ramon has better potential, he has a smaller waist, I think, he has better arms, for sure, and he's taller. He still has to mature, he has to grow some body parts like legs, for example, but he's definitely making progress. Every time we saw him on stage, he looked better than the previous time, and I'm expecting him to make some more progress before the Mr. Olympia, and I am expecting to see him at least top 3 this year. Last year he was 5th, he was beaten by Brian and Urs, and he was able to beat both of those guys at the Arnold, and if he comes even more improved with his genetics, with his, with his shape, I can see him in that top 2, or at least top 3. Here is another photo, the most recent one that he posted of himself right now in the off season. So as you can see, his body fat percent is pretty low, and he is big. He is 253 pounds right now. So I'm expecting this guy to be better on that Mr. Olympia stage and to place at least in that top three, possibly top two. What do you guys think? We're gonna be seeing another Brazilian on that Mr. Olympia stage uh, yesterday, Gabriel Zanzanelli, I hope I pronounced his last name properly, just qualified for the Mr. Olympia. This guy is also known as Brazilian Chris Bumstead, because he really does look like Chris a lot, I mean, and not just the physique, he also does have very, very similar physique, you know, uh, similar vacuum, similar V-taper, they are both pretty tall, also the haircut, the mustache, the facial lines as well. Here is a comparison, so as you can see, very similar, right? Uh, Gabriel definitely has better biceps, bigger, more bulging, better peak, but Chris probably has better legs. I don't know how good will this guy actually be on stage, but he seems very promising. Here is another very, very classic looking, with an amazing shape, amazing conditioning, much, much improved classic guy who qualified for the Mr. Olympia, you probably know him, but his name is Fabian Meyer, he's German, so this guy might crack that top three as well, I don't know, we'll see how he looks on stage, but from what I saw so far, he looks really amazing. Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for this video, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and for more videos like this, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching, all the best, and bye-bye.